and an honorable committee members, um, we were asked, the Israel Ministry of Health, we were asked by the FDA to present our data on waning and booster effect, and we are delighted to do so. We, it's important for us to start by emphasizing that we do not pretend to tell other authorities what to do in their setting. We're here to present the data from Israel uh, and the decisions that we came up with uh, in our setting, and we hope that this will um, help other countries or enable them, other authorities, to reach uh, their decisions with the most advanced, uh, latest evidence uh, that we have in Israel. Based on the multiple logos that you see on the screen, I would like to highlight that the work presented here was done by several leading academic institutions in Israel in collaboration. Knowing that the evaluation of the booster dose would be critical to Israel and the rest of the world, the analysis was done with extreme caution by different analysts uh, from different institutions by different analysis methods, as Ron will describe. And I would like to thank uh, all these institutions coming together to do this work very diligently uh, for several months. So we are both presenting, Ron and myself, and we have no competing financial interest to disclose. I would like to say that Israel Ministry of Health and Pfizer have data sharing agreement on public health surveillance data. Uh, however, since the data that we are showing here was actually done by um, these, these academic institutions, only the final results were shared with Pfizer. So I would like to take you back uh, in time to December 2020 in Israel. Uh, we started to see a third uh, surge in cases, our third wave, and this was actually after having two waves and two lockdowns, and when we were at the exit from the second wave, uh, we had really pandemic fatigue in the country, and so we saw once we started opening the economy, we didn't even were able to open everything up. As we were starting to open uh, places, we saw an increase in cases, both confirmed cases, but also severe and critically ill, uh, and there was a significant burden on the hospitals at that point in time. Um, and we started, we decided on a lockdown, but as I said, um, that decision was not as, comp um, the compliance of the public was not uh, as it was in the previous two weeks. Um, thankfully, we had uh, the ability to start a vaccination campaign in December, so Israel started vaccinating uh, as soon as there was F FDA approval for the pfizer biotech um, vaccine, and there was a quick um, compliance and uptake of the vaccine. We opened it in, state, in steps uh, based, based on ages, um, and we reached a very high level of vaccine, and with that, uh, the vaccine uptake, we started to see a decrease in cases, over a hundredfold decrease in cases following the vaccination campaign. And as I said, there was a partially effective lockdown at the time. And the, uh, the, main, the main thing was that when we opened the lockdown, we were able to open everything up, lift all restrictions um, step by step, and the cases did not go up again. Um, we saw, and also the fact that we had reached high level of population-wide immunity early on, uh, which was wonderful, but we also can see that we're basically three months ahead from other countries uh, when we're talking about um, now waning. So the very efficient vaccination campaign made Israel um, the leading country, but when we compare it um, to other countries, there is a time gap. So Israel reached about 40% of it, uh, the population covered roughly three months ahead of other countries that have 5 million citizens or more. Um, and that is important when we move ahead to explain why our uh, data may be different than other settings. Before we move uh, ahead, I, it's worth noting several things about Israel. First, all the residents are covered by four HMOs with comprehensive electronic medical record. Uh, the second point is that we have large PCR testing capability in Israel, so we are basing all our data on PCR and not really rapid antigen testing. 
and two things that are allowing us to really monitor uh, the effects of uh, policy changes is that every COVID-19 test result, positive or negative, is reported online to the Ministry of Health. So we know every day uh, how many people are tested positive and negative, and all vaccines given in Israel are reported online to the Ministry of Health. So our capability of doing uh, really online vaccine effectiveness is, uh, is comprehensive. So our third wave was mainly alpha variant, as you see, and we started seeing um, or we started sequencing the alpha variant uh, sometime at the end of March, but it was really rare. Uh, it was among people traveling abroad, and it was one at a time, but there was deep increase in Delta isolation, uh, reaching over 98% of the cases seen in June. And at the same time, we started to see our fourth wave. Uh, we are now still in our fourth wave experience, the highest level of infection uh, that we have seen so far in this pandemic. And this is despite widespread over 60% of doubly vaccinated individuals. Um, and in the vulnerable population, over 85% uh, there are doubly vaccinated. And once we saw that, we were trying to figure out what that tells us. We saw daily cases rose by more than tenfold in a month and a half. Uh, so from roughly 12 cases a day to about 1,000 in a month and a half. Um, and we, what was more worrisome is that we saw severe active cases increase by more than tenfold in a month. And among them was 60% vaccinated individuals, fully vaccinated individuals. So at that point, we had to um, stop and ask the question exactly as the CDC officer said, is that a Delta issue or is that a waning immunity issue? We had some clue that it might not be the Delta uh, variant, at least not alone uh, with its effect, because we started vaccinating 12 to 15 years old with FDA approval, and they actually had a fresh vaccine, and amongst them we saw vaccine effectiveness of around 90%. Uh, so the majority of them were, were protected, but still you can't really say because of the age difference and everything. So the, the other question we needed to figure out was uh, what about the waning and does that play a role? And as Ron will describe now the analysis we did, we think this is a major part of, of 